Hello all, um, the practitioner here again. Um, I have mentioned in quite a few of my videos, um, just kind of off and on, that I have Asperger's syndrome, or um, I've mentioned my Asperger's in conjecture to one uh, in in conjunction with one thing or another. But I've never actually really had uh, a chance to actually discuss my own experiences in Aspie and um, discuss my thoughts on it in relation to the modern world. Um, the biggest thing I find that in relation to this too is computer science. Um, there's a small group of people uh, known as the transhumanists. I'm pretty sure um, quite a few of those people who my regular viewers are have probably heard of, or are, are probably well informed enough that they've heard of them in other circles. Uh, these are people who believe that um, what with the ongoing um, evolution of well, effectively what we consider to be artificial intelligence, there may become a point sometime in the next 20, maybe even 30 years, when computers are uh, comparable in intelligence to us and could possibly even out-evolve us. Uh, Kevin Warwick, a professor of physics and cybernetics at the University of Oxford, is a prime example of this sort of way of thinking. Um, some people in computer science technology have even suggested that we as humans might become obsolete. However, uh, I actually um, dispute uh, this for one simple reason. Um, autistic spectrum people, particularly those of us with Asperger's syndrome and high-functioning autistic disorders, um, think logically. Uh, we think much more. We have to think more logically because we don't. Um, we don't process information unconsciously. We have to internalize it and learn it. You know, all up here. Um, we don't have the same um, reactions towards social indicators or or other external processes due to a deficient mirror neurons, uh, which work perfectly well in most neurotypicals. So from that. And the fact that we process things much more uh, logically and emotions come on a secondary standpoint, um, and because of the fact that we only process with what information we've initially been programmed with, we think much more like a computer than most normal people do. Effectively, our brains are like wetware computers. So this has actually made, and I've actually um, talked with my counselor on this, who um, apparently one of the, uh, a couple of uh, psychology professors, have even suggested that uh, that, hu that uh, humanity is evolving a much more hyper-specialized form out of the brain. Um, the capability, if you will, to um, to hyper-focus and even become more intelligent on one particular field, say in science or mathematics. And um, while this connected in conjunction with computers and the sort of, if you will, the brain of, of, of humans then processing themselves, uh, and that coupled with um, what some have said is the rise of, uh, you know, more and more cases being discovered of uh, people with autistic spectrum disorders and Asperger's. Um, there's two possible scenarios that are happening here. One, we're just simply be getting uh, better able to detect uh, an already existing uh, number of uh, people with these disorders, which is entirely likely. Or two, it is also possible that humanity is using um, such forms as Asperger's and autism to uh, evolve, if you will, mentally, a group of people, or that, or to be fair, uh, under natural selection, a group of people uh, with mindsets which are uh, are put on for technology are hyper adapting, if you will, to the te technological society that society has created. Now, I want to make something perfectly clear here. This does not mean that automatically um, homo, homo sapiens sapiens, which were, um, uh, I'm, I'm using the term of homo sapiens autisticus for, well, assuming that the, uh, the, the, the uh, that if the evolutionary theory is true here, that, um, and that Asperger's and autistic spectrum disorders and, you know, uh, mindsets of the like of one sort or another are um, the evolution of humanity. Um, I'm calling homo sapiens autisticus effectively a good name as any, just uh, temporarily for the next evolution of humanity. But um, that's not to say that Homo sapiens sapiens is now deficient in some way, but more so that um, whereas we have hyper-specialized in that area of logic because of predisposition, um, we are effectively adapting a little bit more effectively to the science and technology issues, and that's why a great number of the true critical thinkers, like Michael Shermer and stuff like that, who get a little bit less invested in their emotions, are able to detach themselves and think a bit more th critically thinking. And um, I think the bottom line here is the fact that not that the, um, again, I've already put videos up on cosmocracy, and my video, my little theory on, uh, my theory on little green men has a listing of, uh, has a, a link to a website which talks about space colonization. But this is the main point. Um, as Homo sapiens, we are, we have always attempted to fan out and um, and adapt to wherever area we were. Abstract thought was what allowed us to, to effectively, um, in some cases, completely bludgeon out or out-adapt um, our Homo sapiens cousins like Neanderthalus. 
um, we were able to colonize out, literally spread out across the entire planet. That is adaption and moving out are in our nature. Exploration is in our nature. And science and technology are also in our nature. We just keep evolving it over time. Now, maybe, Osper, maybe Asperger's and autistic spectrum disorders with that hyper IQ and hyper specialization capability and what have you are just a way of us trying to adapt to our own computers, if you will. Humanity evolving so we can form a symbiosis with our technology as it starts developing. But the secondary issue, which I think is more important, is that we should look to this as an example for the rest of everyone else. Everybody has the capability to use their logic and critical thinking centers and to detach their emotions. It just requires training. Training, time, and energy. And not necessarily getting caught up narrow-minded in your own humdrum life. Remember to think outside the box. Think, you know, take more information in, process it, and try to think critically about all issues. Now, I know I'm speaking as an Aspie here when I, well, actually something of a unique Aspie when I say this. Uh, the tangential thought stream is only to a small class of, of those with, of us with Asperger's syndrome. But, this might actually be beneficial for humanity. Um, you know, I know that you all can do it out there. For neurotypicals who, um, for example, the ones who've put a whole bunch of ad hominem attacks on my uh, video re-nigger jokes where I say that uh, a lot of the racist jokes are based on appeal to tradition or appeal to, um, you know, are based on stereotypes like hasty generalization or critical thinking fallacies, now would be a good time, rather than just simply firing out hominem attacks off at me, to actually take the time to take a look at what I'm saying, think about it, and then see if it's right or not, and then tell me if I'm right or wrong. The same goes on here. Don't get comfortable in your opinions. If somebody presents you with an argument, think about what they're saying, double check any info if they happen to have it, and then debate them based on the flaws in their arguments. Or if there's other, uh, or if there's other evidence to contradict that, you know. But that's the point. As human beings, we are supposed to be logical and we're supposed to be critically thinking. Emotion is a, is a vestige left over from an older evolutionary standpoint. If we, are, if we are to evolve and if we are to maintain society we, uh, at the numbers that we have, A, we're going to have to colonize space to give a, a rough uh, you know, influx of materials in order to do that. But more importantly, with the new technology and the reinvestment in science will come the necessity for a better understanding of science and a better usage of critical thinking overall in the general population of the world. So do you understand where I'm getting at with this? Humanity may be evolving in this particular area, but that does not necessarily mean that the older species have to die out. Certain species of mollusk, which were uh, originally sea creatures and uh, later certain types of fish and stuff evolved to become land creatures, are still existent in their own natural ecosystems. Humanity need not die out, either by use of computers or by our own stupidity in uh, allowing for, the human, uh, for technology to collapse. There is a tendency to possibly do for this. We just simply have to use the critical thinking capabilities that we all have better, okay? Anyway, uh, that's my piece now. Um, I will go into greater vi uh, details if anybody has any questions. Um, I'd like to open this video, uh, comments beneath, um, for people to post questions about um, uh, to me about what it's like being Asperger's or autistic and how my views on critical thinking, logic, science, parapsychology, what have you, um, how, how this has all been, uh, or even my former world travels, have all uh, affected my mindset or how have, you know, how's my view of the, of the world been affected by being um, autistic? You know, has my viewpoint been radically different or anything? Like I said, any questions you like uh, to ask about the autistic experience, please do so. Any questions on anything else uh, that I've posted in previous videos or, or on other subjects, um, please do so. I'm a repository for knowledge. You know, that's the thing about the Aspie brain. I can get a bunch of random trivia. Because of my tangential thinking capability, I've tried to make myself an expert layman on a lot of subjects. And um, if I don't have the information, uh, chances are I've got access to a very large source of pe uh, people who are experts, so I can ask them for you. Either way, um, yeah, so like I said, general questions down here, and um, I hope that this critical thinking point is hit home and do think about it. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say for this particular video, and um, I'll be continuing on with space colonization and other more important issues in the videos to come. So keep watching, stay tuned, toodles, and happy thinking!